Childhood has a lot of scary parts to it. And the things that we remember that are most visual are our nightmares. And it shocks people, because a lot of them are pretty violent. You know, they think that I directed the kids in that way, and I, and I didn't. I just think that, you know, they're, they're creating something that's real for them. It's not ironic in the way that, you know, an adult might, might do. I was working in this school system where there were two school systems that were um, segregated. They were trying to um, combine them. And I was working with white kids and African-American kids, and so I was able to talk to them about their fears and ideas about what was gonna happen. This vision of these photographs that are very much like these photographs here came to me as the idea of using, using black and white as an idea of, you know, of, of race divide, but, but also how you could change it with, with the markers and you could scratch on it and, and um, that they could create different personas. The thread of it is all working with people and combining really the way that I see with the way that they see. It's really important for me that the, that the pictures are good. And, and I don't mean pictures are good in the sense of, you know, art school good or, or my perceptions of, of what good is, but, but something that really is very deep that, that comes out. In um, South Africa, for instance, the, the children made amazing portraits. They knew how to photograph um, not only a face, but a body. You know, they were very sensitive to, to how, how people were, were moving, and they could get that. Um, but in Mexico, they made not very interesting, you know, family portraits or portraits. But when I asked them to photograph their dreams or fantasies, they, they got that immediately. And actually, I just mentioned it, that they were going to do fantasias. And the next day, they came, some of them came with masks that they had made out of the back of cracker boxes because they didn't, don't have any materials to make anything. And they were just these beautiful sort of Mayan masks. Um, and um, they were able to make these incredible dream pictures. kids easily bring the images out of there. So there's a kind of freedom that they have, I think, that it really makes us sort of feel how poignant they are, but, but how scary they are. <laughs>